Good morning, guys. Morning walk in Cebu this morning, and uh, just kind of hanging out a little bit. Walking by some of the food stands here. I'm not exactly sure where I am again. It's kind of weird. One thing you may hear about Cebu is there are a lot of beggars, and that's true. There, there are a lot of beggars. But once you get used to them, it's really not that bad. Um, you just kind of have to be able to shake your head and, you know, say no and walk away. Now, the kids will sometimes continue to follow you, and occasionally, unfortunately, um, you have to be a little loud. I, and when I say loud, I don't mean scream at them, but you just have to raise your voice a little so that they get the point that you're not going to, you know, give them money. Um, but for the most part, the adults won't chase you or anything like that. It's usually just the kids. And if you learn the places to avoid, you won't have to deal with them anyway. However, usually the places you need to go are the places they are. So they're, they're usually around the important places. They're not stupid. Um, they know where the people are. Let's take a look at the infamous Mango Square. Ready? There you have it. This is where all the clubs are. This is where all the freelancers are. This is where people get themselves into a lot of trouble. But it's also, um, they also have some really good places to eat around here. And they have a few good things to do. Uh, they have a Inasol right behind me, which is a great, great place to get chicken. Um, all kinds of food on the other side. You probably can't see them through the through the trees. Um, Chow King, and there are coffee shops inside. There's a great little coffee shop inside, actually. And um, then the clubs and all that stuff are upstairs. And they don't get started, of course, until about 10 or 12 p.m. The next time I come to Cebu, I will come with money, and I will be able to. Uh, enjoy myself here at Mango Square a little bit and when I say enjoy myself I do not mean enjoy prostitution I mean enjoy myself and uh, go to the clubs and go out to eat things like that so this is Mango Square if you've never seen it before you have now As always, I would like to say that some of you guys that support me, I'm just going to call a few names if I forget you. I'm so sorry. Uh, but uh, Graham, uh, John, Eric De La Cruz, um, Counting Islands, um, I could probably go on and on with people that support, uh, that comment on basically every video um, and say really good things. And even when I screw up, they, they're nice about their delivery of their constructive criticism, which I appreciate so much. Um, so thank you guys so much for sticking in there. And I hope and pray that all this little pettiness that's going on right now will be gone soon. And we will never, ever, 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 ever have to worry about anything like this again because it's stupid. Also, particularly in this area of Cebu, this is uh, Fuente Circle, Robinson's. And I have to tell you that there are people out here selling all kinds of stuff. Um, they sell towels, they sell necklaces, they sell any type of merchandise you want. They also sell stuff like Viagra and Cialis and other medications and not only are they extraordinarily pushy when it comes to selling you these medications, like they will literally, I've had to push them off of me before, that's how persistent they are. Um, but keep in mind gentlemen, it ain't always Cialis in that box. Sometimes you're getting sugar pills or 
something else that is completely and totally ineffective in every way and you may be getting something dangerous so uh, with that being said I encourage you not to ever 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 buy uh, drugs on the street here of any kind thought I'd give you guys a little view behind me I know it's kind of blown out unfortunately that's the way the lighting works um, but that is uh, Puente Circle and as you can see the cars are going around in a circle imagine that coming over to the other side that leads toward the other side of Cebu and hotels in that direction a whole lot of stuff's in that direction and that's where we're getting ready to go so just wanted to give you guys a quick view and that's it so I'm not gonna lie this is kind of a surreal moment a little bit I might have y'all uh, in Cebu City give you a little view around here and so you can see the terraces and all that stuff I literally used to come here every single day when I lived in Cebu every day I came here to either eat <clears throat> or I came here for I don't know whatever I was always here um, I'm moving back to Cebu that's all there is to it I love this place I if you haven't seen my videos before you probably don't understand I love Cebu way more than you should ever love any town like ever this is just a good spot this is where I fit in this is where my personality fits in my character my profession um, it all fits right here in Cebu and I have had a wonderful time so far and I still have a day and a half to go so I'm coming back to Cebu I don't know when it will be but I am definitely definitely coming back um, it is time for a shoot and there will be a live stream shortly so I'll catch you guys on the other side Short notice, 